Hello, you beautiful minds. This is part three of the Warning Watch Advisory um, series that I'm doing with uh, AWEBS. Um, today we're going to be covering convective outlooks. Um, I've actually got a little, um, same as the others, I've got a little, uh, little organizer there because I tend to lose my place. So, I'm just going to skip the intro today because you know what I'm going to say, non-operational version. Um, there's no, uh, there's no way any of this is going to be sent out. So, let's just jump right in. So, first, tools, pgen, same as we've been doing. Um, we're not going to start off with any uh, controls, actions, classes, or objects. We're going to go to start, convective outlook. And this will actually start a convective outlook um, with pre-formatted uh, layers. <coughs> so, first thing we're going to do is start off with the categories. And I'm going to make this one permanently visible by um, clicking this checkbox. Um, so say if I went to wind and I had something in it for categorical, um, it would show up in here. Um, if I didn't have this, it would disappear and I'd just be working with wind. So, anyway, categories. Well, this is kind of this is the fun part, figuring out which categories to use, because you've got these three columns right here. You can find this uh, figure on the net, on the uh, SPC website. Any convective outlook they have, there's going to be a little link at the top that says um, categorical explanations or something like that. It's going to be under the day one, but above the map, or under the um, under the outlook day, but above the map that has the um, categories. So let's uh, let's start this. So say you've got your forecast made and you know where you want something to be. So I'm a little biased. I live I live right on the uh, Iliana border. So what the heck? Let's just put uh, Indiana under a high risk. So we're gonna go over here to Met Outlook. And we're going to select first the thunderstorm outlook. Um, you'll want the thunderstorm areas of the states selected, and areas of the, of the United States that can actually get thunderstorms. We're going to put the tag, and then we're going to go to other because this one hasn't been coded with uh, with uh, marginal or enhanced yet. This is 16.2.2, uh, so I'm guessing 16.4.1 will have um, have uh, marginal and, and enhanced. So, place this one, choose a different color. Let's go with orange, I like that. Or not, oh wait, not orange, uh, dark green for marginal. So we're going to, oops, a yeah. little tip, if you want these to just automatically close like that, just select the close checkbox. And let it pull up. Maybe. My computer's a little slow, so this may take a couple seconds. There we go. Type in MRGL for your text. Uh, you can change the styles if you want. Then put that in here. Excuse me. And now we're ready to begin the slight risk. So again, closed. Select a new color for this one because you don't want it to be the same as marginal. So we're going to be doing yellow for this one. Bring it around. Boom. Right click, finalizes the area, place your text. Yeah, let's see here, another other, orange, place it, oops, closed. And type in E and H for enhanced, and place it. Notice how I'm putting these um, in a place where it won't interfere with 
um, other outlooks or other outlook categories. It won't interfere with the lines. Let's wait for this to come back up. Here we go. Moderate, MDT. It'll catch up. And closed. And then... because the text is already, is already perfect. And here's where the fun begins. Because, if you're like me, you get chills whenever you put that, whenever you put out a high risk. So, high, magenta, closed, fill it. Oh, look at that, state line city. Right smack in the middle of a high risk. In fact, same as a few years ago. All right, so high risk. Bam. You have now just issued a high risk. So now keep in mind, this isn't everything within a within a convective outlook. You've also got these three categories to deal with. What? You've also got these three to deal with: wind, tornado, and hail. So to make this one permanently available, select the check mark. And we're going to begin with the tornado threat because that's going to be the primary threat. So let's zoom in a little bit because, let's face it, we're taking this thing out to 2%, but yeah. So with this one, what I'm going to start off with is the significant category because that's going to be, um, that's going to make up the, that's going to make up part of the enhanced risk and everything into the high risk. So, SIG. Let's put this out here. And you want to make sure it surrounds the, the moderate risk, otherwise it's not gonna not gonna take. And you want to put this one in about the same area as the others. Put it down here because we're going to be putting in more risk categories as time goes on. So 15% is going to be the um, moderate risk. I tend to put um, wherever the significant is. The next one in, if that's the primary threat, that's what I put as the next is that's what I go with, and then I um, put the other ones. I save the other ones for later. So 15% close. That's going to be the moderate risk. So you want to make sure that it follows the moderate risk area. Here's the 15%, and you want to put this again somewhere where it's not going to be intruded upon. So, keep in mind that the, the high risk for tornadoes includes 30%, uh, 45%, and 60%. So this is going to get kind of tight. 30%, closed. Thirty, and I'm taking this right up to sixty percent because I'm an optimist. I'm kidding. So, 
45 percent because let's say the weather conditions are just that conducive really okay stop locking up thank you oh closed yeah not a good idea to forget the closed because otherwise you'll wind up forgetting something 45 percent and 60 percent and that And 60. There we go. So, but keep in mind that we started off with 15, so we've still got to do 10, 5, and 2. You just fill those out as best as you can. Um, let's see here. So, 10, make that follow the enhanced risk. Oops. Actually, edit this in a couple seconds. And this is actually a good way to do this. You can um, add points to this. I'm just gonna add one there. Now, there we go. Add point. This one's going to be a little, a little longer. It doesn't have to be exact, but I kind of got OCD, so this can be a little tedious. And that's your 10% area, so I'm going to go ahead and go into text and create a 10% tag because I totally forgot to place it. Maybe. There we go. So hopefully it'll come up with the text with text and oh that was from a, that was from an earlier video. Um, let's see here. Let's zoom ten percent and make it that ugly orange color. Actually, make that ugly brown color. I think this is it. No, it's not. Sorry, I gotta I gotta figure out which color this is. I think it's this. There we go. So we've got that, and then, uh, let's see here, 5% slight risk, 2% marginal, so, you know what, I think, I th actually think I've taught you enough, um, deleting a risk category is easy, just click, oh wait, hang on, uh, select any, click, and then hit the, hit the delete key, it'll go away, um, same with text, double click, and it'll go away. Um, you can follow the same for wind and hail. Um, keep in mind that these make a certain layer visible. So the tornado layer is now visible, not visible, while I've got a category up. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, if you're like me and you like ultimate realism, you can create a you can create a discussion uh, using tools text window, but um, I think I've taught you enough to do this. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below. Otherwise, have a good night.